Hey guys, welcome to the very first NT vlog of the summer or spring, spring slash summer. I've received a lot of requests from you guys recently and in the past for me to show you how I prepare myself for a photo shoot. If you didn't already know, I'm a YouTuber, but I also do modeling on the side. So I've been doing that for literally 10 years and every single model has their own routine on how they prepare for a photo shoot. So today I'm gonna show you my routine. This is gonna kind of be like a get ready with me. I've never done one of those before. You guys also suggest those a lot as well. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how I prepare for a photo shoot. And this video is in partnership with Shein. This photo shoot is actually very exciting because I'm working directly with Shein for their spring 2020 collection, which is so exciting for me. I'm literally gonna be on the Shein website. So that is the photo shoot I will be preparing for today, which is so exciting. I've worked with them before, but I'm actually gonna get to be one of the brand new faces of Shein this year. So yeah, you guys are gonna get to see the outfits. They let me pick them out. They are all a part of the new spring collection and will be linked down below. If you guys enter my promo code at checkout, you will get 15% off of your order. If you do like any of the outfits, you see me modeling from the photo shoot vlog footage. But with that being said, let's just cut to it. Here is my attempt at a get ready with me, how I prepare myself for a photo shoot. Enjoy. <laughs> Oh, hello. It's me, the voiceover. And here's my cat, Margaret. So the most important thing when it comes to preparing for a photo shoot is get plenty of sleep the night before. I'm gonna be up and moving around and doing things all day and I have to wake up kind of early. So it's good that you get at least eight to nine hours of sleep the night before. And then after I wake up, I actually reach for my phone so I can completely familiarize myself with the brand and do a little research on who I'm gonna be shooting with today. It's super important that you know what the brand represents and know what it is that you're gonna be doing and fully mentally prepare yourself for what is to come. Normally not this perfect. I actually sleep like an animal. <laughs> and not this precious animal. Hi, Margaret. After I get out of bed, I go straight for the coffee maker because coffee in the morning is the only thing that keeps me going, I swear. Plus a little caffeine never hurt nobody. I need lots of energy going into a photo shoot. This is also a time that I would normally have breakfast as well, but because they're gonna be serving me breakfast at the photo shoot, I'm just gonna make a cup of coffee. Now, while I drink my coffee, I take a look at my call sheet and see all of the important details about the photo shoot. Like I said earlier, this is a really important step because you need to know what kind of clothes you're gonna be wearing, what season you're gonna be modeling. You wouldn't model the same way if it was a fall shoot versus a spring shoot. So I check out my call sheet and see what it is exactly I'm doing. Since this is a spring shoot, I know I'm gonna be wearing a lot of colors and possibly some dresses. And I know Shein's new spring collection is now available. They have four new styles with workwear, romantic, festival, and streetwear. Starting on March 23rd, Shein is having its annual spring sale where you can get up to 70% off of select items. And Shein now offers Afterpay, so you can shop the entire site and pay later in four interest-free installments. It's four equal payments every two weeks. You just select Afterpay installments for your payment method, and you must be 18 years or older and a U.S. resident to qualify. So check out the Shein website for more by clicking the link in my description. And don't forget to use my code MYNATALIA for an additional 15% off the entire Shein U.S. site. 
it's time to move on to my self-care portion of my routine. The first thing I'm gonna do is actually go to my refrigerator. In here, I keep one of my favorite beauty secrets, this Rose Quartz D-Puffer. It looks really funny, but I'm actually gonna take this into the bathroom. and start rolling it on my face. What this does is actually reduces inflammation in my face. By rolling the cold crystal all over, I can assure that all of that puffiness will be no more. And then as soon as that's done, my next step for my prep is to start a bath. Turn it, push it and turn it. I got it. My favorite thing to do in preparation for a photo shoot is actually take a bath. Not only is this gonna relax me, but it's gonna assure my next steps as well. Now before a photo shoot, I really like to use a bath bomb because I just think they're so satisfying. So fun fact, these bath bombs actually have fortunes in them. That's why they're shaped like fortune cookies. I always upload TikToks with these bath bombs. All of my bath bomb TikToks do really well. They get like millions of views and there's people on TikTok that know me as the bath bomb lady. And like, I have a whole ass YouTube career and they just have no idea. I'm like still waiting for someone to recognize me like solely for bath bombs. I don't know, they say your brand chooses you. I suppose that's true. Now, while I'm in the bath, it's really important for me before a photo shoot that I shave my entire body because you're gonna be having moments where your legs are exposed while you're taking photos. And sometimes the makeup artist will even apply body makeup to your legs so that they look silky smooth on camera. Now, believe it or not, uh, a huge part of my photo shoot routine is shaving my toes. <laughs> a lot of you guys might think that's weird, but if you do, that's because you literally can't even admit that you shave your toes too. I'm convinced that everyone shaves their toes. There's two types of people. People that shave their toes and freaking liars. <laughs> I feel like this is like some weird fetish right now. Why do I feel like I'm being inappropriate when I'm literally just shaving myself <laughs> with a swimsuit on? Don't sell this on the dark web. Oh, it looks like our fortune is done. Okay. Here is our bath bomb fortune for the day. A friend asks only for your time not your money. To all my ex-friends out there, take notes. Now I'm gonna use my cute little crab scrubby to exfoliate my entire body. This is important because one of the next steps is gonna require that my entire body is exfoliated. After I'm done with the bath, I like to take a look at my skin and see how it really looks because all of these little blemishes are gonna show up on camera, so I wanna do my best to fix them. I have a very specific order of how I do my skincare. I start off with a clay mask. Clay masks are what you always wanna start out with because they help diminish blemishes. I got it on my carpet. And now I'm gonna let this dry for like 10 minutes. After I remove the clay mask, I go in with a sheet mask. I honestly hate the feeling of these. Anyone that actually likes the feeling of these on their face is a psycho. Don't trust that person. These always feel disgusting, but I know that it's gonna make my face nice and dewy. It looks like chicken skin. 
please unsubscribe. That was disgusting. <laughs> I don't know why I even try. Uh, and then I go in with a nose peel. Just wet it down and wait for it to dry. Ooh, satisfying. Taking these off always hurts for some reason. Now my next step is actually to use a self tanning lotion. Believe it or not, tanning yourself as a model isn't really recommended unless your natural skin tone is darker. They really don't care for the fake tan, but I don't really care. I'm just gonna do it anyways because this is what I wear every day anyways. I don't think they're gonna mind. Now, while I wait for my tan to dry, this is the perfect opportunity for me to pack my model bag. Every good model needs a good model bag with all of the essentials. A strapless bra, a shirt that has buttons on it. This is really important. So when they're doing your makeup, you don't have to pull your shirt over your face and ruin all of the hard work that the makeup artist did. You just unbutton it and you're good. Some basic black heels just in case a Bluetooth speaker for the jams, and any good snacks you might need just in case you get hungry. And that is my model bag. And once you have that all packed, you are good to go. So now that my model bag is all packed and my tan is dry, I can take my hair down. Now, contrary to what you might think, you actually don't want to wash your hair before a photo shoot because every hairstylist I've ever talked to has informed me that it's easier to work with dirty hair than clean hair. So I'm just going to keep it the way it is. And voila, I am completely ready to go to my photo shoot. If I have a little extra time, I will practice my posing just to make sure I am extra prepared. So there you guys have it. That is how I prepare for a photo shoot. I hope you enjoyed this NT vlog and this get ready with me style video. You guys have been suggesting it, so here it is. Thank you so much to Shein for partnering with me on this video. I really enjoyed the photo shoot and I absolutely love the new spring 2020 collection. Again, if you guys are interested in any of the outfits you saw from the photo shoot vlog footage, click the link down below and enter in my promo code for 15% off at checkout. Thank you so much to everyone that supports the sponsors so that I can continue to make videos like this on my channel. But anyways, guys, I thoroughly hope you enjoyed. Comment down below and like this video and subscribe if you want to see more NT vlogs. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I thoroughly hope you enjoyed. But most of all, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. I keep looking at the viewfinder. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.